Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. While we usually bring on educational professional professionals, today we bring a different change of pace, a very fast pace, someone who's dedicated his life to being a pro athlete, ZFR team member Jack Zanoni. Jack, thank you for coming on. Thank you. It's great to be here. Honestly, this is an amazing setup you got here. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, well, glad to have you on. So a lot of people may not know exactly what downhill mountain biking is. Could you give a summary for the audience? So for a basic overview, you start at the top of the mountain and you race down as fast as possible. You stay within the guided tape that's on the track and fastest time of the day wins. It's pretty, pretty simple. And yeah. do you win a lot? Um, I've had four downhill wins and about five or six enduro uh, mountain biking wins. So I'm going, it's, Around 10, if not time, more than 10 at this point, wins in total. But uh, hopefully this season we're going to rack up a few more. So, And what would you say was like your most rewarding win? My most rewarding win was probably last year. I'm always going on about this, but it was at Mount Snow in Vermont. It was a super cool race. I was away from my house for about two to three weeks before that because I was hanging out with some friends, doing some training. And just getting to that race and seeing everything come together just my form was perfect, um, it was good speed the entire time, and it was like a challenging weekend, but I was able to overcome that, and it just it made it so much better when I actually got that fast time today, and uh, yeah, it was very special. What's the fastest you think you've gone? On my bike? Yeah. Um, I'd have to say around 50 miles an hour, 50 to 60 miles. 50 to 60 miles an hour. Yeah, 60 is wow. like on the top end. It really, I don't know if I've ever gotten that high, but I've definitely been in the 50s sometimes. I mean, on my so. road bike, like I, I only can go like 23. Like that's the fastest I've seen it go on the speed monitor. And I thought that was fast, but 60 miles an hour, it's like a car. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you're, you're going extremely fast. So you have to make sure that you're very like dialed in and you're focused because the smallest slip of that speed is gonna cost you life and limb. You know, it's not, it's yeah. no joke. What do you love most about mountain biking? For me, it's just hanging out with my friends, honestly. When I'm out, even if it's not the best venue that we're at, if it's not, if it's bad weather, just as long as you have a good group of guys and you're hanging out, having a good time, that's like the community aspect of it is just amazing. So I'd have to say that for sure. Yeah, I mean, I wish like, you know, when I was biking, like, you know, I've tried to do mountain biking, but I haven't really done it that much because I never really have friends to do it with me. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's difficult, you know, yeah. you got to find people with the same interests as you because that's, I mean, that's what you're going to spend most of your time doing. So yeah, it's, it's hard, but once you find a good group of guys, it's, it's a great time. So what does um, your training schedule look like in the off season? Oh, okay, that's a good one. Cause, um, so it's usually about between 18 and 21 hours a week. So I'll get up in the morning, I do my usual, you know, get ready, grab some food, go to school. And then as soon as I get home, I have to transition. I have to like switch my mindset and just go like full training mode. So I have a schedule, obviously. Sometimes it's uh, like two or three hours on the road bike. Sometimes it's gym work. I know every single day I have at least an hour of gym work. And then I try and get some sort of cardio in as well, at least like an hour or two a day. And then on the weekends, it's pretty much nonstop training because it's uh, 48 hours of just no school, so I can just focus on training and get like those longer sessions in. Because after school, I'm only able to do between four and five hours. So it's very, it's very difficult. To be competitive, you have to train hard. So you have to, sac I don't want to say sacrifice your social life, but your social life definitely takes a big hit when you're so focused in on your goals. And now, do you believe in like um, electric bikes? And what do you think about them? Yeah, I personally love um, electric bikes. Uh, I personally have, my family has two of them, two uh, e-bikes, and I think they're awesome, especially for someone like me who's a downhill uh, athlete. For me, my fitness is extremely important, but so is my ability to ride downhill. So on an e-bike, I get the same workout, but I'm able to ride downhill more times throughout a certain ride, which means I can perfect my skill more. I'm also working on riding a heavier bike, which a lot of times is more fatiguing on your body, but then easier on your legs, so you're able to go for longer. And it's a great, especially for older people. Older people or less fit people, it's hard for them to get out on the trails because they don't have the same endurance as someone like you and me would have. So for them, it's amazing because they can experience the world that we experience just on the trail. 
with did, less effort. Yeah. Do you still plan to like, you know, when you're an adult, like to keep mountain biking and is it something you'll do like your whole life? <clears throat> Obviously it's something that takes a huge toll on your body, especially at the level I do it. It's, you know, a lot of crashing. Um, even when you're not crashing, it's just a lot of fatigue on your, uh, on your joints and your tendons. So I think I'm gonna continue doing it, but once you become like 40, 40 years old, you have to start like reining it in. You can't be doing it as aggressively because you're gonna get hurt and you can't sustain that. And you wanna be like already I've broken sixteen bones. If I keep this up, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be looking too good at fifty. Sixteen. Yeah. Wow. And um, at what age did you start mountain biking and what inspired you to get into it? Uh, well I started riding a bike at three years old. Um, and I think I'd have to say my father. father. My father was a huge inspiration in uh, and like why I started riding, and he was a huge cyclist himself. So obviously through the years, I've kind of tried to be more like him. Obviously, it's it's hard to, I guess, compete with someone like your father, obviously. And um, yeah, it's it's just been like a goal I've tried to chase that I want to be, I want not, like I don't want to be better than him. I want to match his aspirations, maybe go a tiny bit over, just to make him make him proud, I guess, yeah. So speaking about that, what do you think is the biggest challenge during mountain biking? Uh, I think biggest challenge, at least in terms of training and being a professional athlete, is, again, just the impact it takes on your social life. Because everyone can be good at something if you're willing to dedicate the time. You know, talent is nothing without dedication. So you just need discipline and hours of training, hours of practice. Um, and you're not dedicating just time, you're dedicating your, your livelihood, like your health almost to the sport. So you have to be 100% focused and you gotta cut out all the noise. So sometimes it, it gets lonely, but you gotta push through it. So, you know, as someone who bikes myself, I've crashed a lot, even going low speeds. I couldn't imagine how crazy it would be going at like 60 miles an hour. But let's watch a clip of you uh, mountain biking. Uh, listen, like you that right there. Hold on, baby, come here. Come here. Be quiet. Let me whisper a couple things in here. It's your dog. I don't bloody hold. Yes, I still look by you, baby. You stand to the toes. A lot of niggas hate, but they don't press shit. Shoot this solid shit at night. He can't catch this. Potato on the pistol from the fry, nigga. Put the gun oh on silent. Be quiet, nigga. Oh. Hold on. Cause that bitch go pew when I shoot. So Jack, your reaction to that video? Yeah, that was a that was a pretty fun time. Um, obviously, like when we're training, it's always pretty interesting. So we always make videos and stuff of ourselves uh, for for the sponsors on Instagram and stuff, and it's it's always a fun time. And like, do you have a lot of fear when you're going down the mountains? Uh, I wouldn't say fear. Being scared is a lot of the times one of the reasons why you crash. You have to be focus on what you're doing so um, but I definitely feel nervous when I'm at the start before a race sitting at the top of the mountain a lot of the times depending on how well you uh, qualify it's just yourself if you're the last guy up there so everything gets real quiet and you just hear the, the start gate beep and um, and your whole mind just like flips into a different mode and you have to get ready to put your I guess put your life on the line and just give it a hundred percent so, um, where's the most interesting place you have ever ridden? Oh, I'd have to say Europe. For Europe? Sure. As much as I love the U.S. and I've traveled to Colorado for nationals and I've gone up north and down south, like all over the place, I love Europe the way the trails are. I love the people, the towns. I think it's all amazing. And it's, it's just, it's a different vibe. No one, like, people speak English, but it's not... You know, obviously, everyone's just relaxed, and it's all different from where I usually live. So it's it's more of an adventure for me, and I think that really ties everything together, especially with the beauty of the mountains and everything. Yeah. And um, what advice do you have for someone who would like to become a mountain biker one day? So I'd have to just say, you know, as you have to train hard, obviously, but don't burn yourself out. As long as you're having fun doing what you're doing. I love training. I know I make it sound like it's terrible. I love training. I love going to the gym. I love riding my bike for hours. 
And if you love what you do, you're gonna become good at it. But if you make it not fun, it's, it's hard to sustain. So just go with, go with your gut and just pursue your dreams. And if you make it, you make it. Thank you for coming on. That was a great interview. Thanks, Zach.